ANW heater installation instructions for the TPI air machine. This heater installation video is for adding the AWM heater to a TPI machine equipped with Protel's digital air system. As shown in the picture, the heater kit consists of four main parts. Kit 619, which is the magnetic chuck holder. Assembly 370, which is a 150 watt heater assembly. Assembly 370, which is a uh, thermostat assembly. And uh, HDM 017094 is a manifold mounting bracket. If the uh, air machine already has a Protel digital air manifold installed, it will be necessary to remove the existing digital air manifold and mounting bracket. Then remove the air manifold and buzzer from the original mounting bracket. Now install the digital air manifold and buzzer on the new bracket supplied with the heater kit. Align the drill template supplied with the heater kit on the front and bottom edges of the right side of the enclosure as shown. Use the template to mark the three hole locations to be drilled. Drill each hole to the size noted on the drill template. Use a step drill bit or hole punch hole saw to drill the 7 8 inch hole. Temporarily install the chuck holder by hand tightening one of the 1032 lock nuts provided on the chuck holder's top mounting stud. Use the slot on the top of the heater mounting bracket to locate and align the heater assembly. The chuck holder's lower mounting stud should pass through the heater mounting bracket. Install the second nut on the lower stud as shown, then tighten both lock nuts. There are two pairs of power leads that come from the heater assembly. Route the black and white power cable behind the compressor as shown. Connect the black and white heater power cable to the terminal strip as shown in the picture. With the lower blocker plate installed, position the thermostat and mark the mounting hole location. Remove the blocker plate and drill a one quarter inch hole at the marked location. Before permanently mounting the thermostat to the blocker plate, pass the power cable with the two black wires from the heater assembly through the grommet in the thermostat bracket and connect as shown. After wiring the thermostat, install the thermostat and the bracket on the blocker plate and reinstall as shown. Install the manifold above the heater using three of the existing vent holes. Note the location of the manifold mounting screws. There are a couple of purchase options with this heater kit. In warmer climates where the heater is not needed, the magnetic air chuck holder can be purchased separately. On non-digital machines operating in colder climate, the heater can be installed by itself without the air chuck holder. Use the drill template to mark the center line three holes for mounting the air chuck. Um, there are two quarter inch holes and one seven eighth inch hole. In this cabinet we've already drilled the holes. Next we'll install the uh, chuck holder. It comes with two nylon lock nuts. Um, remove both of those and we're going to use one on the top stud to temporarily hold it in place. So just start the uh, top lock nut. Now the heater um, bracket has a slotted mounting hole in the top and a through hole in the bottom. So what you'll do is you'll use the slotted mounting hole uh, to go in behind the nut that we installed um, first, then slide the bottom stud through the bottom hole and then install the second lock nut. So the 
top, the slot slides in behind the lock nut. And then the bottom stud slides through the hole in the bottom of the bracket. And we'll install the After installing the heater, we're going to take the uh, power cable and route it behind the compressor, and then we're going to make our terminations for our power up on the terminal strip. Then we'll continue routing the other end of the cable down to the lower left hand side of the cabinet. The next step will be to install the um, thermostat and the, and the thermostat bracket on the lower um, vent blocker plate. Um, this plate is provided by TPI. Um, you'll have to drill a hole um, for the mounting screw and that's best done. You put the bracket in the enclosure. Temporarily install a screw so that it's at the right location and then hold the, the thermostat bracket in place and mark the center line for the hole. Alright, once you've drilled the mounting bracket for the thermostat. Uh, need to install the power cable by passing it through the grommet in the bottom of the thermostat bracket and then installing them in the thermostat. Right. After those connections are made, and we'll install the bracket on the blocker plate. Now we'll install the blocker plate and the thermostat in the housing. Um, Stop. All right, and the final step is to install the um, manifold bracket. This is uh, relocates the uh, manifold above the heater, and it has this um, piece that hangs down, and it is a functions as a rain guard to keep uh, water off the heater. Simply slide the bracket in above the heater, and then hold it in position. And then we're going to use the existing holes on the outside of the enclosure. Now the bracket. There's only one um, combination of holes that this will, will um, mate with 
and that puts the uh, manifold in the proper location in relation to the heater. Now you would um, continue by connecting your hoses um, to your manifold. Okay, so here we have the um, chuck holder installed, and uh, as you can see, it's a heated chuck holder. There's a magnet inside that holds the chuck in place, and what that does is positions the chuck um, in the correct position in relation to the heater. We've ducted um, a portion of the heat um, from the heater up to the air chuck, and that maintains the air chuck at 85 degrees in uh, 20 below um, um, ambient air um, temperature. Um, the rest of the heater goes to heat the inside of the cabinet and keeps it about, about 40 degrees. And it also flows up on the manifold, and that's the reason we put it here, uh, to keep the manifold warm. Um, in the lower left-hand corner is the thermostat, and with, with the thermostat preset, um, you don't have to worry about winterizing because in the warmer months the heater won't turn on until until you go into the winter months and the temperature drops. Um, and that's the